Hello DC fans, this is JR369. Welcome back for another pop review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Pop Heroes Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary number 393 and 423. Both versions of Wonder Woman, you get the Black Lantern version and the White Lantern version. Both are made by Funko. But not only that, they're they're alone in the dark. Yeah. Well, you already need to solve the title, obviously. So anyway, let's take a look at each of the boxes. So for the box, you can see the the box, just the usual Funko Pop box, but with the Wonder Woman 80th anniversary. You can see the window exposing the pop. You get the um the image of the pops. And you get the Amazon exclusive for Wonder Woman. She gets the um well the White Lantern Wonder Woman it gets the um the glow in the dark sticker and the updated Entertainment Earth exclusive sticker. You can see the name on both boxes on the side. You can see a full image of the box, and on the back you get six pops of different versions of Wonder Woman that is already available, and also added three more because of the because of the. Um, you know, the White Lantern ones. Plus, there's also a Sinestro Corp version of Wonder Woman, which I'm probably not going to get that one because I'm probably going to wait until the glow in the dark version comes out. Hey, or the Sinestro Corp. Since Funko made a glow in the dark version of Wonder Woman, Black Lantern, and the White Lantern version of glow in the dark Wonder Woman, so why not wait for the Sinestro Corp version of Wonder Woman that glows in the dark? So anyway, let's take out both versions of Wonder Woman out of the boxes. Here are the Black Lantern and White Lantern Wonder Woman pops out of their boxes. Let's take a look at each one of them. Let's start off with, um, I'll, I'll just go with the White Lantern version because, well, she is pretty new. Well, she did came out. Take a look at the head sculpt. I would say the head sculpt is really not too bad. Very new to the um, the Wonder Woman pops. You get the floating hair sculpt on the um, the pop there, and I think there's some glue stain right there. Yep, you can see some of the earrings on her, and also her eyes is pretty much well white because well she's a White Lantern obviously, and you get this little crown thing white lantern or well, wonder woman crown with the white lantern logo on there and now take a look at her outfit you can see her her classic outfit is all white because again white lantern and you get the white lantern logo right there you get the um uh, the arm gauntlets or the arm brace on the each sides of her arms well they're not too bad very well sculpted you get the gauntlets there on each hands and also you can see there's a power ring on her fingers and you get the lasso of truth which is a flexible plastic and take a look at her boots yeah they did really not too bad of a job with the, her boots very well done indeed and also you get the flight stand, which is glued on because, well, obviously. And on the lower neck, you see there's some legalese on her neck instead of on her feet. Which is, that's fine. I'm probably not going to see that. But overall, this um, Wonder Woman pop looks really cool. Yeah, I, I dig it. And moving on to the Black Lantern version, where... I'm just going to assume she's all zombie-like. To be honest, I am i don't know anything about the Black Lantern. To be honest, I know they're like a zombie. I know some of the characters are like a zombie-like characters. I know there's like a zomb there's like a Black Lantern Batman where he's all zombie or something like that. Yeah. So anyway, take a look at the pop here. They did really, I would say they did really are not too bad of job of her head sculpt. The hair sculpt looks really good. Floating again, but a different hairstyle. And also you get her, well, evil crown-ish look. 
with the Black Lantern logo on there. And take a look at the um at the lower at take a look at the body. You can see there's some like black arm bracelet things on each arm. So you get the gauntlets on there. You know, her classic Wonder Woman gauntlets. Uh, you get that weird dramatic hand, like, say, or pointing, say, like, I'm gonna catch you, or something like that. I don't know. And you can, uh, you can see it. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Focus. You can actually see there's a, you can see she's wearing the, the Black Lantern ring there, the power ring. And also she has the axe with the Black Lantern logo. And her outfit is almost identical to the movie Wonder Woman version. The movie version of Wonder Woman. Almost identical because of this skirt thing here. You can see some of the silver painting on the, um, the her outfit. You can see like some a little bit of texturing. And you can see the lasso of truth but in black. Yep. Because, well, obviously Black Lantern. And you get her boots there. Nothing much. You can see some straps there sculpted on. And you get the white line, the white outlines and the black. Nothing much on the feet. And on the bottom, there's two, there's a peg hole in the bottom of her feet. And no legalese. And also there's the um, legalese on her neck, which is, that's fine as well. But overall, for the pop itself, I really do love this pop. Funko did really great. Not too bad. Sculpt. Wise, pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Now for the gimmick here, both versions do glow in the dark. So let's turn off this light and turn off the other light and turn on. Well, you can actually see a little bit, but let's bring out the black light so we can brighten up the light easily. Do, 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 do. And the ring, her outfit, her boots, her eyes. Same thing on the Black Lantern. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. And then turn off the black light. Oh man. Man, that is really awesome. Hold on, let's see if the lower legs glow in the dark. So, just like Wonder Woman's boots. So, let's see. Let's find out. Yeah, the, the lower legs on her does glow, but not the boots, sadly. But I will give credit to the to the Entertainment Earth version. Her out her old outfit glows in the dark, including the the, the crown the crown tear thing. But her, her for the, but her her whole pop on the Black Lantern version. Well, just her skin glows. So that's it. But hey, it's still a really not too bad glowing on each pops, I would say. So let's turn on back on the lights to end the review. So anyway, overall for these pops, I really do like them. The Black Lantern version, I would say, I really do, do absolutely love the Black Lantern version of Wonder Woman. I think Funko did a really a great job on this pop. And the White Lantern Wonder Woman, I dig it. I still think it really Funko did a really great job with this pop. And I do recommend getting these versions of pops. Well for well she's exclusive the Black Lantern version is exclusive to Amazon. Well, yeah, she is sold out on Amazon or she's still available. I don't know. But for the um but for the uh the White Lantern version, she's a exclusive to Entertainment Earth, but she's still up on pre-order, pre so yeah, you might find this pop in your local stores for the, for the same price as the one from Amazon, as Entertainment Earth. Yeah, still recommend getting these pops for your DC shelf or your Green Lantern, White Lantern, Black Lantern, Yellow Lantern, Sapphire Lantern collection. Or your Wonder Woman collection if you're a big Wonder Woman fan. Yeah, definitely recommend getting these pops, like I said. 
Hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please like, share, and comment. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the these are the Pop Heroes Wonder Woman 80th anniversary number 393 and 423. Both versions of Wonder Woman, the Black Lantern and the White Lantern versions, Glow in the Dark variants, both are made by Funko. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.